Hi, and welcome to my special Monday edition of Jots and Tittles. I hope you are having a much better week than I am having. And if you're in the United States, have a great Thanksgiving and find a lot to be thankful for. This is a special message to three groups of people. One, my readers and fans. Two, other authors and small business owners. And finally, Mr. Zuckerberg and the Meta Facebook Instagram employees that have power to help me. Last Wednesday, November 16th, at just before 1 p.m. Mountain Time, hackers managed to access my account. I was using my account at a doctor's office to reply to a friend on Instagram, and I believe they got me into my account via proximity, which really doesn't matter. Except as I started getting messages, I was already in the doctor's office with the doctor and could not do anything about them for um, about an hour. But in those first few minutes that the hackers took over my personal Lori Parker account, they added two email addresses to my business account. And then they put up a photo, at least on my, as my identity photo, that I would never, ever condone. I know they did it on Facebook. I'm assuming from my Instagram messages, they also did it there. This photo was in violation of Facebook community standards. So in a matter of maybe two or three minutes, they got control of my business account and they locked me out of Facebook and communicating with Facebook by putting me in what most of us refer to as the Facebook jail. Readers and fans. According to emails I have received from Facebook, but I cannot respond to because everything I click on is a form or something to contact them, but because I'm in Facebook jail, Facebook doesn't let me respond. It's a wonderful catch-22. Anyway, I am in danger of losing both my Lauren Grace page, uh, my LJP Creative page, and my Lauren Grace Sweet Readers. Please... If you are not on my newsletter, but you'd like to know what's going on with my books, go to my website and sign up for my newsletter. I don't want to lose you. I love communicating with you. I love our interaction that we have on Facebook. And at least I'll be able to tell you if I'm someplace else later. Authors and small businesses. There's one thing I think I could have done that I didn't do besides use a VPN in a public place. My bad, I have one. I just, for whatever reason, wasn't on it. Um, and that is, on my business account, I should have given a trusted spouse, child, friend, or my PA 100% access to any everything. I'd only given my PA access to the things she needs to to post. Uh, the reason for this is I would have access to my business account. I could have turned off the ads and possibly kick the hackers out. I'm not sure. I don't think I could, but I'm not. I can't get in, so I can't be sure. But I would have been able to go over to the Meta Business Suite and use their links to report hacking. Because right now, if I click on them because of the photo that put me in Facebook jail, they, Facebook won't let me use those links. See the problem here? But if I had another 100% admin in my business account, that account could go over to meta business and make the appropriate reports. Also authors, 
I don't want this to happen to you. So do that, and then please share my story. Share it with Craig Martell of 20 Books to 50K. Share it with Mark Dawson and the SBF community. Share it with the Writing Gals. Share it with everybody. I do not want you to go through what I'm going through right now. It's kind of scary. Yes, I'll lose 13, 15 years of my personal page, which Facebook is nice and I can download that. So I do have my 365 days of gratitude to God and to friends that I posted after my son's suicide last year. So that was a good thing, Facebook. Thank you. Um, but I, I can't get anything from my Lauren Grace page, my LJP creative page, or my Lauren Grace's readers group. Um, so give somebody 100% access and share my story. I do not want this to happen to you. Finally, Meta, Facebook, and Instagram, and Mr. Zuckerberg, we have a problem. I am a very small advertiser. I advertise less than $2,000 worth a month. I'm not a huge fish um, in your sea of advertisers, and I realize this. I'm a small business, and I, the only thing I've ever advertised is my books. I love Facebook advertising. It works for me. It makes sales for me, and it is a safe place for me to advertise or I thought it was a safe place, but it's not because I'm caught in this catch 22. While you are emailing me on one hand to say, here's your problems, click on these links and report them, which is helpful. I can't because I am in Facebook jail due to the photos the hackers put up. I can't contact you. I have written my meta advertising rep and she helpfully gave me a link that I can't report on. And she said she doesn't have another way to message or forward my message internally. Facebook, you hold the key to letting me out of this situation where the hackers have made me a hostage but I can't contact you. I did after six hours of searching the internet and finding other small businesses who have been in my same position, find two emails, which I did email you and they did not bounce back. But who do I, who do I contact? If I was in a real jail in the United States, I would at least have one call. I would be able to get an attorney I'd be able to get somebody to help me to look into what happened. You need to change something so that businesses that are hacked in the same manner I have been, which apparently is several from my internet search, can still contact you and say, hey, I would have never put up those photos. I would have never made those ads for something that wasn't books. My books, Lauren Grace's books. I have no reason to change my profile photo from my Lauren Grace beauty headshot. It doesn't make sense. In the 13 to 15 years I've been on Facebook, the four most controversial things I have done is one, tell a friend I was going to take her to lunch and use a word that put me in Facebook jail for a couple of hours. Two, be on the Glenn Beck show four times. Three, testify that I believe in God and Jesus Christ. And four, do 365 days of gratitude posts after my son committed suicide and share with others what they might do in the same situation as I was in. I don't think those four things should keep me from using Facebook. Only the actions 
on November 16th after 12.30 Mountain Time are keeping me from being there, and those weren't me. Please, Mr. Zuckerberg, and your employees, let me out of jail. Give me a chance to retain my small business. Thank you. Have a happy Thanksgiving and a good week.